Jack, I haven't had anything to eat yet. That's just an excuse. But it's interesting for us because he used the present perfect with yet. I haven't had anything to eat yet. And in this lesson, I want to help you understand when we use the present perfect. Okay? Now, remember when we studied the past tense, I gave you an acronym, this oil way, on, in, last, when, ago, yesterday, because we use the simple past with definite time in the past. Well, I have another acronym for you to help you with the present perfect. And here it is. Genie. Now, these represent time words which are indefinite. They describe indefinite time. So can you guess what they are? J. J is just. I have just seen him means like two seconds ago, just now, recently. Just. This one here. England? Used in questions, it's ever. Okay, so have you ever been to England? Ever means sometime in your life. All right, so ever. Next one, A. I've already seen it. Already means something that you have done. It's something that is finished in the past. I've already seen it. Okay, this one here is the opposite of this. Ever. Never. Good. I have never been to England. Just, ever, already, never. And this one, that's what Jack said. I haven't eaten yet. Yet means an action which hasn't been completed. So yet. I want to look at these on the screen with you now and see where we put them in the sentence, because that's important. Just, ever, already, never, yet. There they are, you see them written? Just, ever, already, never, yet. So, they are indefinite time words. Look at them in the sentence. I've just come. Do you notice where it is? It's before the past participle. After the auxiliary, before the past participle. I've just Come. Second example, have you ever been there? Ever is before the past participle. Great. He's already gone. It's before the past participle. And I've never seen them before the past participle seen. So just ever already and never are before the past participle. Look at the last one. I haven't finished yet. Notice that yet is the exception and it comes after the past participle. So you need to remember that yet is the exception. All right, so try and learn this. Just, ever, already, never, yet. When you're in the bath, just repeat it. Just, ever, already, never, yet, present perfect. All right, it will really help you when you're in conversation. And don't worry, we haven't finished with the present perfect. We will be saying other things about it in the future. So, happy memorizing. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.